In this video of the Shed series in Revit, we are going to cover landscaping. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to my site plan over here in the project browser. And then up top, we're going to be using site component to go ahead and add in some landscaping, so some trees and maybe some bushes and things of that nature. So go ahead and left click that. As soon as you do that, you'll notice in the properties that your uh, panel has changed. You can drop this menu down to see various different trees and other foliage that you can add in. Uh, please be careful though when adding this in. You don't want to go crazy with it right now because it could really um, bog down the uh, software. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to just pick uh, two trees. You could pick whatever you want. You don't have to pick the same one as me. Um, notice it also does kind of give you a height factor. So this one can get kind of tall. It's 25 feet tall. And I'm going to put one, let's say, I don't know, on the left-hand side and maybe another one on the right-hand side. And then I'm going to show you also how to kind of load some other um, plants because there's really only a lot of trees in here. I'd like to get maybe a few bushes or maybe some shrubs. So I'm going to hit Escape to get out of that. And actually, no, I want to go back into Site Component. I'm sorry. And I want to load family. From the load family, you're going to scroll down and go to, there should be planting. Let's go to planting. And then, for example, I want this shrub. It's a smaller bush, so I'm going to click OK. Hit open. And then now I can add in maybe some smaller bushes kind of over here on the perimeter of the shed. Maybe put a few in like so and then I'm gonna hit escape to get out of that so you pick what you want to do with the landscaping go ahead and add that in and then I'm gonna go back into my 3d so you can kinda of see the results and you're starting to see some trees along with some of the bushes um, if you're not happy with exactly where those are you can go back into the site plan kinda of move those if you'd like just click and drag Maybe I want to pull these in a little bit, tighten this up, you know, tweak that to how you, how you see fit. Go back to the 3D and you can, again, keep making adjustments and tweaking that. Um, once you're done with that, make sure you save and I will see you in the next video.